Hello and welcome to this Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to add zeros before numbers in Excel. So here I have all these numbers and you can see that these are of varying length. So the first one here is two digit long and this one is four digit and this one is five digit. If these are let's say employee IDs or record numbers and I want to make these consistent, I want to make these all five digit long, then I cannot do this in Excel by default. If I come to this cell here and I try and add three zeros before this number 10 and I hit enter, Excel is going to remove this. There are a couple of ways of doing this. The first one is if you convert this into text. So here I come at the beginning of this number. I use the apostrophe sign. So I, I hit the apostrophe key and now I enter zero three times and hit the enter key. It is going to align this to the left. When you have an apostrophe key at the beginning of a number, it actually converts that number into text and text is aligned to the left and numbers are aligned to the right in Excel. So this is one way of doing it, but it is all right to do this if you only have a few numbers, but in case you have a huge data set, then this may not be a practical way. So let me remove this and let me show you a better way of doing this. So I would first select this entire data set. I would hold the control key and then I would press the one key on my keyboard and this would open the format cells dialog box. You can also get the same thing by going to the home tab and here in numbers group click on this small dialog launcher and it also opens the format cells dialog box. Now if I come here to the custom option it allows me to specify the custom format and this is the format in which these cells would be displayed. So I would change this and remove the general from here and instead insert five zeros and you can see in sample it shows me how these values would look. Now what I'm doing this in this case is by entering these zeros I'm telling Excel I always need to have my numbers displayed which are at least five digit long. See what happens now when I click OK it would automatically insert these zeros. Now, when you change custom number formatting, it would not change the value in the cell. It only changes how it is being displayed. So if I select the cell, you can still see 10 here. If I select the cell, you can still see the original number. It only changes how these look. And now you can see these look consistent. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified whenever I come up with a new Excel tips video. Thank you and have a nice day.